Hello and welcome to the beginning of my rating climb series where we will be going from 1000 elo on Lee Jess, or right around there, to 2000 elo. Uh, we'll do 10 minute rapid slash blitz games, it's kind of somewhere in the middle. But um, yeah, let's just get into it. And I've got some classical music playing in the background, I kind of just talk you through my thought process as we're going and hopefully you enjoy. So, let's go for Danish Gambit here. Just, obviously, if he takes, we're not going to take with the Queen, because we get hit with Knight C6. The idea is to play C3 to Gambit another pawn. And so here, if we take, then we kind of have to trade the Queens. So again, we're going to play Knight F3, putting pressure on the pawn which we're threatening to win, and we're kind of hoping he takes us. So, he, oh my god, these arrows. So he attacks our pawn, and we're just going to defend it with bishop d3. The reason I don't defend with the knight is because after he takes the d-pawn, I want to play c3 to gambit the pawn, right? Okay, bishop e6. Let's just castle. No need to do anything fancy. Um, I can play d5 at any time. I can also now just win the pawn. Which I think we're just going to do. Because there's no queen trade anymore. Yeah, let's just, let's just take the pawn. Also, for a bit of context, I'm rated 2200 on Lee Chess on my main account. So... My official FIDE, well, it's ECF, which is English Chess Federation, but my actual ELO is around, like, 1950 classical, so that counts for a bit more online. So here, I think we just set up a discovery, threatening knight takes g6, because that uh, defends the bishop, the bishop attacks the queen, and the knight also attacks the rook. Right? If we were to do something like knight takes f7, the bishop hangs, and we do take the rook, but the knight has no real way out. So, there's no need to allow that. Knight here. So yeah, if we take, he can take. So we go for the plan of taking on g6. Just checking there isn't anything else. Because we do have a double attack on the knight, but our knight is kind of pinned to the bishop, because it just hangs unless the knight goes to g6 so knight g6 you might be a bit worried looking at this mate threat if the bishop was wasn't there but the queen has to vacate the diagonal now because it's under attack and the bishop's defended by the knight so he's got to move it um he doesn't really have a say in that so this isn't whilst it looks scary <coughs> There's, there's nothing there. You, you don't need to be worried about that. So... Who's the queen? The queen's undefended. So it's threatening b2. And I could just take the rook. But bishop to b5 check wins the queen. So, you know, we can take the rook and he takes back and he's down in exchange. But we can just go up a queen. Right? So, you know, even if there's a good option in the position, like, look for better. If there's better, then do better. So here are our bishops under attack, and his rooks under attack. Now, there is the idea to take on c6 with check, and force knight takes, and then play queen takes here. But, if I play queen here first, my opponent resigns. Um, he resigns in this position, but if we take, if we play um, queen takes h8 first, right? Show you on the analysis. Queen takes, then he takes with the pawn, and his knight doesn't get to develop. Whereas in this line, the knight gets out, and obviously we're still completely winning. But why give him anything? Why not just do this? I wonder what the computer says. Yeah. So the computer agrees 
it its favorite move is queen takes h8. Bishop takes here. It rates like two analysis points lower than queen takes here. Because after this, black's lacking development. Obviously, we, we're still completely winning, but just little things, right? So, this is, was a quick game, obviously. But, let me just get rid of this. Just so you can see the evaluation. Um, so, yeah, we play this gambit line, is what I was trying to play. The Danish gambit. Opponent didn't let us, and he goes d6. Knight f3 is the best move. Um, and here, I mean, in this line, we can win a pawn, because he can't take the pawn because of we fork them. But I don't really want to trade the queens, because, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a fairly quick win, considering his rating, right? So I want to play a gambit, <clears throat> which he doesn't do. And I still want to play the gambit. He doesn't let me, so I just take. Uh, queen d6. Computer prefers to move the knight back. Um, because there is this attacking the bishop. But all is not lost, because after bishop here, the queen can't really take, because it gets skewered to the rook. So, it weren't really... My opponent wasn't really threatening that. And just playing my bishop to f4 poses more questions than just retreating the knight, you know? Like, my opponent's got to make, make a bit of a harder decision. And he makes the wrong decision. Because, yeah, knight takes here. Computer prefers just to take the knight and give the queen up, which is hilarious. I guess the point is that he gets a lot of pressure on h3. Uh, sorry, h2. After I just play h3, there's nothing. Now, obviously, I can't take here. Because this is a draw by repetition. Because uh, of the discovered check. So, that would be a mistake. But if I just leave the pawn on h3, I just keep the file blocked and there's nothing. Um, so, yeah, knight g4 here. He was the queen. And, yeah, bishop b5, it wins a queen. You know, there's no point going up an exchange when you can go up a queen. Um, so, yeah. And my opponent resigns here. And that's game over. But, yeah, this is how simple it can be to beat, like, lower rated players. I didn't do anything special, really. Like, I just got my pieces out. My opponent gave me a pawn. I posed him a question. Just, just posed him a question, Bishop F4. Like, what are you going to do? I'm threatening a discovery. And he misses it. He, and then we win. And then he... Once the first blunder happens... Like, subsequent blunders tend to happen very, very quickly. So, like, after his blunder of knight g4, the very next move is an even bigger blunder. Because he gives me a rook with knight g4, essentially. And then he gives me a queen <laughs> instead of just a rook. So, yeah. Hope you guys found that enjoyable. And if you want to me to continue the rating climb series, then please let me know. Uh, drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. But, um, yeah, have a good one.